Hi everybody, today we will talk about uh, restricted measures and variables. Uh, we have an analytic view here called ana underscore test two, and we are going to create a variable there and we are going to apply this variable. For this analytic view, we are using a table, a fact table called shop facts and the shop facts is taken from a schema called eFashion tutorial. So I'm going to open that table to show you the contents. So it has shop facts ID, article ID, color code, and also it has the key figures like amount sold, quantity sold, etc. So I'm going to create a variable which will allow me to display only a few article IDs. So I will uh, select the name of the variable as article ID. I can give any description here. So I can say do to display the selected article IDs. values for the selected article IDs. The attribute we are going to select here is article ID and we can select a default value from the article IDs we have. So I am going to leave it blank. We can either select single value or we can select an interval so we can select multiple article IDs within that range or uh, with, uh, with an interval. Or I can select a range. So I leave it as a single value. Then I OK. So I have created article ID. Now I go to the logical view and I'm going to apply that to this. So I'm going to apply filter. I select the article ID then I said OK. So as uh, we discussed in the earlier lesson an analytic view is composed of uh, data foundation and logical view. In the logical view we have the attribute views and data foundation. Data foundation is linked with attribute views. We can also use tables. So now we have applied the uh, we have created a variable and we have applied here. We have created a filter here. So now uh, applied the filter there. So now I am going to validation is fine. Now I am going to activate it. So activation is complete. So I am going to preview the data. So it's going to ask me the variable value for the variable. So I select one of the article IDs such as this and I say OK. If I want I can select a range but I have not selected in my uh, creation when I created the article ID variable I didn't I, didn't, I selected only one, one particular value right. So I see the values for one particular article ID. one one nine four two seven the SQL statement behind that is this I close this and I'm going to close this also as well so I'm going to remove the filter I created so I go here first right click and the remove the filter then I go down remove the article ID
So now we will talk about uh, restricted measures. So I'm going to create a restricted measure for this uh, analytic view. Okay. I highlight restricted measure, new. Then I'm going to name it as state because I'm going to uh, display the values display the records for a particular state the sales values for a particular state so description I can say I can select one state or many states so the measure is amount sold that is what I'm interested in so amount sold I can change this to amount sold for selected state or states then add restrictions then I select a parameter called state here oh I, oh, I can select yeah state equal to maybe for Florida so I may have a column called state already so I will say state wise sale or something So that is the column uh, I will see in my output. So I have created a new uh, column here by this and this is this is an attribute here. I will validate this, activate, select whatever I want to activate, so activate only this. Then I have a data preview here. Then I created a new uh, column here called state wise sale. I clicked on that. Then I will see the values for state Florida. So if I go on the right hand side, I will see Florida. So I see the values only for the state Florida. If you want, I can move this one here. So these values are for the state Florida. I will check this SQL statement. So this is the SQL statement. So if I want, I can copy this into an SQL editor and I can execute it. I get the same results. If I want, I can modify this SQL editor and change the results according to my requirement. So this is what I wanted to explain to you today. Thank you very much.